Bobcats open up Mid-American Conference play with a win on the road against the Akron Zips. I'm Tony Castro coming along with Rob Cornelius. This is Bobcat TV as Ohio uh, comes up to Akron with a seven-game winning streak against the Zips. They extend it to eight. Thank you very much, defense, and Quentin Poling for a fantastic performance in a 14 to 10 Yeah, win. Diff difficult game. Ohio jumps out to a big lead early but fails to cruise up 14-3. Scoring stops for about three quarters, and Ohio's defense holds on. Great defensive effort. Holds these guys to right around 300 yards but keeps getting getting stops, holds them to three at a time, and holds on to a win up here in, uh, wow, Northern Ohio. Yeah, the powers that be that make these decisions at the Mid-American Conference are certainly pouring over Quentin Pulling's numbers. Very impressive. 11 tackles, eight of them were solo. He had an interception. He had a sack late in the game that really made Akron's last drive difficult. Yeah, brought that A-gap blitz late in the game. Jimmy Burrow dialed up the pressure and did just enough at the end of this game to get the ball back, let Ohio run it out and win and get out of here with eight in a row. All right, four and one now on the season. One and no in Mid-American Conference play. Here's how it happened. Oh! First and goal at the four-yard line. Vic out of the shotgun again. They've got two backs in the backfield. It's Olette on the left hip of Vic, and Patterson lined up behind him. Now Olette moves to the quarterback's right. Two wideouts split as well. Heitzman to the right of the quarterback, Vic. On first and goal, handoff Patterson in traffic, breaks through it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bobcats. Under 10 minutes to play here in the second quarter. 14-3 lead for Ohio. Two wide to the left, one wide to the right. As Darius Vick calls for the football, he'll hand it off. Poppy White has daylight on the right. Leaps over a defender, 40-45. Eight-yard line, but holy smokes. Oh, yeah. and, and he's got Patterson on his left hip. Patterson now goes in motion and flanks wide to the left. Five wide, empty backfield. Vic out of the shotgun. Will decide to dance around for a while. Throws up the right sideline where it's caught by Cope for a first down. He got hit in the back at the 26-yard line and pushed behind the first down marker. But his forward progress will give him the first down. First down out of the shotgun. Akron with the football. In the pocket. Throws over the middle. And a nice job lodging the ball loose. This will be a 33-yard attempt from the right hash mark for the left footer. And he's going to pound it right through the uprights. It's good. And Woodson. Calls for the snap, has it, drops back to the 29. He's in trouble, dances around in the pocket. Now that pocket's going to send him to the ground as he gets taken down by Trent Smart with his first sack of the season. Trent Smart playing for the injured Terrell Basham. Tight end to the left of the quarterback, three wide in the ball game, and one running back to the right of quarterback Woodson. Play action again. And again, he's in trouble. He'll lose a defender, stays in the pocket. Accepted, picked off by the Quentin pulling up, up past the 30-yard line and taken down to the 27. Quentin pulling with the interception, his first of the season. And the Bobcats have the ball with fantastic field position. Two wide right, one wide left. He takes a snap. He'll fake the handoff and dart off to the left across the 10, 15. And he's dragged down from behind at the 7. Akron. Handoff goes to Woodson. They get it to Hunley, who's got open field in front of him. 30, 35, and dragged down at the 15. But it's going to be third and 11 here with 131 to go in the third quarter. Bobcats up by 8. Snap goes to Woodson. Drop back. Stand in the pocket. Throws over the middle. It's caught. And moving his way down to the five-yard line, a first down for the Akron Zips of the third quarter. Woodson out of the shotgun, waiting for the ball. Takes a snap, handoff right up the middle, Hundley, and he got swallowed a hole on the play. A nice hit by uh, number 20. That's Brian DeSillo for the Akron Zips. They line up for a 41-yarder from the left hash mark. Robert Stein put his left foot into it. High kick, end over end, long enough, and it splits the uprights. Right goes in motion that way, third down. Vic from his own goal line, in trouble, has to run away from a defender. Up the right side of the field, throws deep for White, who caught it at the 35-yard line in a first down. A beautiful <laughs> job extending the play by Darius Vic. He found Poppy White upfield for a gain of about 26. He's played very well today. Yes. One wide left, two wide right for the Zips. Woodson out of the shotgun, making his second start of the season. Takes the snap. It'll be a little jet sweep. Off to the right side. There's daylight across the 45 to the 40. Out of the shotgun, Woodson from the Akron 13-yard line. Takes the snap, throws a slant. Pattern incomplete. Fantastic coverage on the play by Brett Layton. Good snap, good hold. The kick is on the way, and it splits the uprights. 
from the 27-yard line. Snap goes to Woodson. Here comes some pressure. Woodson steps up in the pocket. Now he'll run straight up the field, and Quinton pulling wow. sends him to the deck at the 26-yard line. 14 to 12 over the homecoming zips. Snap goes to Woodson. He stands in the pocket at the 20-yard line. It's wrapped up and thrown to the ground. A huge sack for the Bobcats. Four wide in the ball game for Akron again. Ball game comes down to this. 14 to 12 lead for Ohio. Snap goes to Woodson. He throws a slant pattern incomplete. Fantastic coverage by Ian Wells. And the snap goes to Darius Vick. He successfully catches it. He takes a knee, and that'll do it. So the win improves the Bobcats to 4-1. Nice to bounce back after the heartbreaking loss to Minnesota. They did it without even being fully healthy, Rob. I think that's maybe the most impressive part. No, you'd like to see these guys get some guys healthy at, at quarterback and offensive line. There's going to be a lot of things to look at on the tape for Frank Solich and his staff. They're happy with the win, not happy with some parts of it. But Miami next week for homecoming, you are never not up for Miami. You win that game, there's mugs. There's history. There's pride. I look for a good week in Athens. There's bricks as well. Bricks as well. Bad bricks. love them. And it should be a lot of fun. We'll uh, have our pregame coverage on the air uh, an hour before kickoff. And uh, homecoming in Athens, it should be a real treat with Russ Eisenstein back on the call. I'm Tony Castricone filling in alongside Rob Cornelius. The Bobcats winning 14-12 to at Akron. This is Bobcat TV.